Yeah. Oh, wow, there are six attendees now. Six wow. o'clock. Okay. All right. Um, I would like to call the meeting uh, to order. This is the Planning and Zoning Board on Tuesday, June 9th, uh, 2020. So, um, our first um, item that we need to do is to call the roll. So I will call names and if you just wanna say um, I or here, that's great. So um, Nicole Northrup. Here. Hal Goodman. Here. Field Scarborough. Here. Uh, Jamie Daniels. Jamie Daniels, are you here? Okay. Well, we, okay, very well. So we have a full um, body this evening, a planning uh, body this evening. So that is wonderful. Our first order of business is to um, adopt the agenda. I know that there have been some changes to the agenda. I'm going to move that we amend the agenda to remove item six under new business item A the discussion and approval of the temporary parking for the town common. We have a motion. Is there a seconder to the motion? I'll second that. All right. Uh, and uh, I'm going to look for a vote. So I'm going to call names. Just say um, aye or nay. So Nicole Northrup. Aye. Hal Goodman. Aye. Field Scarborough. Aye. And Jamie Daniels. Aye. Very well. So um, the ayes have it. The motion's passed. We do have an approved agenda this evening. Uh, the second um, order of business is approval of the minutes. And I know that the minutes have been distributed. Does anyone have anything to add to change on the minutes? Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Uh, from the meeting, the May 12th meeting. I'll move to approve the May 12th minutes. We have a motion on the table. Is there a second? No, sir. So Hal Goodman is the motioner uh, and Field Scarborough is the seconder. Is there, um, so we'll take the vote. Um, Nicole Northrup. Aye. Um, Hal Goodman. Aye. Field Scarborough? Aye. Jamie Daniels? Aye. Very well. So um, we have a, a, and me, I as well. So we have, um, we have passed that, uh, the uh, minutes from the last meeting. So our next order of business is um, a public hearing. And so, uh, as far as the public hearing, uh, the question before us is um, about an ordinance um, that restricts the installation of boat lifts in the shallow bag bay south, which includes Marsh's Light Marina. The, the language that um, is in the ordinance, which is a local law, says that boat lifts or any devices attached to pilings or docks and designated, or excuse me, and designed to suspend a boat over the water are not permitted in marinas. So that's the text. Um, the Board of Commissioners has uh, asked for this body to review the, um, the text for a possible amendment and so that's what we're here to do. And of course, um, it is very, very important in um, the review of any changes to our local laws, and that is to make sure that we've got public input. And so tonight is the public hearing, and I uh, would like to have a motion to open that public hearing so that we can hear from our, um, our residents. Is there a motion to open the public meeting? I'll make a motion to open the public meeting. Nicole. I'll second that. Very well. Nicole Northrup uh, motioned uh, to open the meeting. Hal Goodman has seconded that motion.
Star nine. I'm sorry? Star nine. Yes, star nine. Oh, yes. So for those who wish to speak um, during this public meeting, it would be helpful if you would um, press star nine. That will help us understand or it would indicate that you want to speak and we can then uh, let you know which number, phone number, is, um, is in, the, in the order. Uh, so if you'll just let us know, star nine, raise your, that's like raising your hand, and then we will know who wishes to speak at this public meeting. This is a public meeting. We so welcome public comments. There is, um, there is someone who wishes to speak. Um, that number is 1172. And if you would press, oh, you are unmuted. So go ahead um, and speak. You're unmuted. So, okay, great. So hello, this is Tracy Paiva. And I am a permanent resident here in Manio. I live in Marsh's Light, and I live in one of the single family homes that's right on the marina. And I just called in to add my um, approval, if you will, or my hope that you, as you contemplate the potential to allow boat lifts in the marinas in Manio to uh, add my support to that. Um, I have a boat and a boat slip. And uh, the marina in Marsh's Light is not very well protected, so the boats take a real beating in um, that water. And it makes it very difficult for a novice boater like me to take the boat in and out. And it also makes it much more difficult to maintain the boat. Um, so my life and enjoyment in the marina and my boating experiences would be very much enhanced by having a lift uh, to be able to come in and out of the marina and into my slip more easily and to be able to maintain the boat in the best possible condition. So I just wanted to add my voice of, um, you know, hope <laughs> that you'll approve the, the boat lifts in the marinas and that's really um, all I wanted to say. Thank you so much, Tracy. We really appreciate your comments. We have another uh, person who wishes to speak, and that phone number is 1159. You are unmuted, so you may speak uh, at the public hearing. Uh, good evening. This is Bob Keeney in Fernando Street. Um, I am support, in support of the uh, deletion of this section of uh, the boat lift, section 127. It is interesting to note that the section only prohibits boat lifts in marinas. Uh, both, both lifts located in other portions of Shallow Bag Bay, such as at docks adjacent to private property, are not prohibited, at least under this provision. There are other types of structures and large boats that are often taller than a boat on a lift. Uh, all these could block line of sight, uh, but none of these are prohibited under this section. The existing ordinance only prohibits boat lifts at marinas. Owners of boat, sh uh, boat slips should be able to fully utilize them in accordance with covenants and regulations of each private marina. By deleting this portion of the ordinance, those marina associations will be able to determine the proper installation and use of both, both lifts in their private facility. I would suggest, however, that the town provide some guidance, not an ordinance, but guidance to the marina associations on the type and quality of boat lifts best suited for the water and weather conditions on the bay. And thank you for your time this evening. Thank you, Mr. Keeney, for your comments. Um, very much appreciated. We have another speaker, um, and the last four digits of the phone number are four. Four four six zero four four six four zero. Yes, this is Tim Tipo. I live on 101 Fernando Street, and I walk those docks almost every single day. Um, to change an ordinance is a big thing in the town of Manio. The ordinance were put up a while ago, and for good reason. 
I understand that Shallow Bag Bay does have some inclement weather. However, at another property that I do take care of, on one of the inclement weathers, a boat fell off of the lift and causing major damage to other boats in the marina. And if the, the ordinance do, does get lifted, I hope that there is some kind of regulation and that it does not give a false hope and security to people that own a boat ramp or a boat lift. Also, I'm hoping that it does not open other incidences, as in I know the town of Manio's docks, which are regulated by the town, and Shallow Bag Bay. And I do realize that Marsh's Light also has had an ordinance in their homeowners for quite some time not allowing it as well. So for the board to know, I hope that we really look at something as big as changing an ordinance and for a really good reason. Not to mention that I hope that it does not change the line sight for people around the area and enjoying the boardwalk. Because after all, Marsh's Light Boardwalk was to conjoin, con, whenever it was built, was to join old Manio and new Manio. And I hope that we're not forgetting that for when that area and when that development was built. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tim. Uh, appreciate your comments and perspective very, very much. Is there anyone else out there um, who has called in who wishes to speak? I'm sorry? Oh, yes. If you're out there and you do wish to speak, um, the best way to do that is star nine, and then um, we will indicate which uh, phone that is, and you will be unmuted. Anybody else? Yeah, we would love to hear from anyone. Oh, yeah. So um, if anybody out there would rather email, um, your comments, you could do that and send those to Melissa Dickerson. And in fact, I think there's up to 24 hours. Is, is there not to accept? Um, yes, there's um, actually up to 24 hours from this meeting to um, submit uh, any other comments. So. And Madam Chair, if I may also um, remind the folks on the line, there will also be um, a public hearing on this topic um, at the Board of Commissioners meeting on June the 17th, um, and they are certainly welcome to weigh in um, at that opportunity as well. My email address, if you are interested in submitting written comments, is M Dickerson, D I C K E R S O N, at mantionc.gov. Thank you so much, and that's a really important point. Um, and that is, um, we really wanted to collect as many perspectives as possible. So um, there is ample time for people to really think about it and either get your opinions in, um, uh, in this very way, uh, via phone or via email. So one last call, anybody? Okay, it looks like, uh, it looks like we are done. Can we have a motion to close the public hearing? So I'll move. Oh. Who said that, Hal? Yeah. Uh, Hal Goodman um, is the motioner to close the public hearing, and we need a seconder. I'll second. Field Scarborough is the seconder, and we uh, just should have a, um, a vote to make sure that um, it is completely closed. So, uh, Nicole Northrup. Aye. Uh, Hal Goodman. Aye. Field Scarborough. Aye. And Jamie Daniels. Aye. The public hearing is now closed. So um, the next order of business uh, on our approved agenda is old business. Oh, no, that is not true. Excuse me. It's actually uh, the public comment period. So um, members of the public are invited to address the board uh, on any topic. So it doesn't, uh, we've closed the public hearing for the um, um, 
change to um, a, an ordinance, an amendment to the ordinance, ordinance, but this is really for any topic that might be of interest. So the speakers can um, address this group just like we've been doing by um, using star nine. Is there anyone out there that would like to speak to this group about any other topic? Anyone? All right, it looks like um, there are no public comments. And so we will move to the next order of business. And that is old business. And it is our discussion and recommendations to the Board of Commissioners on this text amendment, section 12-7 um, boat lifts. Um, Melissa, would you like to do the staff report? Sure. Oh, somebody did raise their hand. Okay. Under public comment? Yes, ma'am. Uh, All right. Um, the public comment period is open. Um, and I'm sorry, Woody, what is the? 0516. Thank you. And the phone number is 0516. If you wish to speak, you are unmuted. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, my name is John Robbins. I live at 109 Puddle Lane, and I own property in the town of Manio and Cypress Cove. And I thank you for the opportunity to speak this evening. I'm going to keep it simple. The only thing, um, I went downtown and ate lunch um, today, and the one item that I see, I drive a truck, a Toyota Tundra, and I just oftentimes cannot park the truck down there because of the space the wasted space on the streets where people don't efficiently parallel park. So again, I um, put it out there. It's not been for discussion. I've submitted it out there. It's not been on any agenda items and simply ask that y'all put it on the agenda to discuss putting painting parking stripes on the streets, working with NCDOT to do such. The benefits would be for all the businesses downtown, we'd have more parking spaces. And I encourage any of y'all to walk around during the daytime and you can typically count 10, 15 spaces that are lost to inefficient parking. So I hope that the town will recognize that parking is important in the town of Mania. It's needed. And through putting these stripes down and working with NCDOT to do such, you can um, gain more parking in the town of Mania. And I've been talking about this since I worked on the 20 year plan 20 years ago when I was a student um, at NC State in the landscape architecture program and um, while pursuing also a city re and regional planning degree from UNC Chapel Hill. So um, I just ask that y'all put it on the agenda and try to get it done. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Robbins, for your comments. Uh, very much appreciated. And thank you also for your emails. Those are appreciated as well. All right. So. Any other public comments before we leave this section? I'm sorry? Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else out there who would like to uh, comment about any topic? Well, city business, I mean. Nope, okay. We will then move to um, old business and um, the staff report uh, that will inform this discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, so you all were provided late today, I apologize. I submitted to you um, an old version of my boat lift um, staff report and there was one that I worked on last week that was um, a little more, that included a little more detail um, so of course, currently the town ordinance um, prohibits um, boat lifts in marinas um, and the, that current ordinance was passed in March of 2008. At the April 15th, 2020 Board of Commissioners meeting, a board member suggested the potential deletion of this sentence of the zoning ordinance. And then at the May 6th meeting of the Board of Commissioners, um, the board referred the matter to you all. And, the, at, and they also, at that time, set a public hearing on the matter for June 17th, 2020. 
at the May 12th, 2020 Planning and Zoning Board meeting, you all scheduled the public hearing for today, which you have already held. And to lift the prohibition, the following text amendment would be required. And it's simply to delete the words, quote, boat lifts or any devices attached to pilings or docks and designed to suspend a boat over the water are not prohibited, not permitted in marinas. And that's from the ordinance text. Um, so as required, um, we, you all are um, charged with adopting um, a plan consistency statement um, when, you, um, uh, when you make your recommendation to the Board of Commissioners. So as such, as I typically do, I did a review of the 2007 land use plan. The 2007 land use plan does not specifically address boat lifts. Um, so this is a, a bit of a tricky matter. Um, the, pl the land use plan does state that public access policy three, new parks and open spaces should be cited and designed to maintain the town's natural edge, protect fragile areas, improve water quality, preserve views to public trust waters, and be in keeping with Manio's historic character. Um, figure 17 of the um, land use plan designates the views from Marsh's Light as important public views. However, figure 11, um, which is attachment two to the staff report, um, also designates important public views, but does not include Marsh's Light. Um, it's, a, it's an area just south of Marsh's Light that does not have a, a public boardwalk, it's all private property. Um, so I, I think that that is a, perhaps an error. Um, and then from um, going around town, I took a couple of pictures and then some of you as members sent me pictures of um, boat lifts um, because I think one of, of the considerations is um, regarding that public access policy three and the views of the public trust waters. Um, so attachment three um, was pictures and I have them here and I'm sharing my screen for you all who are um, joining us um, online. So the, here we go. So this, there, there is one boat lift that exists in Marsh's Light, and this is a picture of that boat lift um, without a boat in it. Um, so I wasn't able to catch the boat in it, but um, member Northrop was, and so she provided to me this picture, um, which, you know, demonstrates um, what we're considering, where you all are considering here. Um, and then, I'm going to defer to member Goodman if, if he wants to walk us through. He sent a number of pictures over um, as a resident of Pirates Cove. Um, they have um, a number of boat lifts behind private property. Um, and then there are just a couple in the well, marina there. The ones, these are at the Ballast Point Canal at the mouth of the canal. They're not allowed to have a boat lift on the community dock, but they made an exception for those couple of lots right there because the northwest, southwest, and west wind, as well as boats going by in shallow bag bay, really disturbed that water. So the only way they could use those slips was to have a boat lift. Initially, there were only one or two out there. Now, in this photo, there are four in a row. And when they're all filled with boats, you have absolutely no visibility from the dock. You're just looking at a wall of boat hauls. And this picture, there's no boat in that lift. If you go back to that, well, any one of them, I did measure, it's eight feet from the dock where you're standing to the top cross beam that carries the winches for the boat lift. When the boat's up in there, most of the boats are sitting anywhere from four to six feet, the top of the boat above the dock. So it, does obstruct your line of sight. The other issue you get into is in high wind events, you have to get your boat out of the lift. There was a boat in a lift during Hurricane Michael, right next door to this yellow one, and it came off the lift due to the wind and waves, and 
the boat lift punctured a hole in the hull of the boat. The boat sunk. It was a total loss. Uh, that's another thing to make people aware of. If you have a boat lift, you've got to watch the weather and you've got to get your boat out of there if we're having, you know, any kind of wind event. But, uh, as far as sight lines, here's an example. This is that area where the four lifts are in a row. And when you're standing there looking up through the boats, you can't see anything but boat hulls. So that's something to consider because it does obstruct your view. This is over in Pirates Cove Marina. These, there are three lifts right by the ship store and those were put in before the ordinance was passed in 2008. So there are no more lifts other than that. But there's one more photo looking the other way. This is looking out, the, yep. that was looking to the east and it totally obstructs your view of the water and the bridge and everything else. And then there's another view looking the other way to the southwest. And so the last few pictures here are just pictures of boats from the town's um, public boardwalk, um, just to give a, an idea of, of if there is a difference or not. Um, Madam Chair, one comment that I did want to make, um, I know that I, I have heard while this issue has been pending for some time, um, that folks are worried about the town docks and um, boat lifts um, being installed on the town docks. And so I, I just wanted to address that because um, I think some of you who are more familiar with this than this issue than I am too, um, you know, most of the time boat lifts are installed on boat slips that are privately owned. Um, you know, of course, the the people who dock at the town docks are more transient. Um, they come in for a week or a few days and they stay. We do have um, a dock with long term um, tenants, if you will. Um, but those people do not own those lifts. I mean, those slips. So um, I, I don't see that there would ever be a situation where the town would incur those costs. These are expensive um, improvements to make. Um, so I just wanted to clarify that because I've heard that comment um, and I think I've talked to you all individually um, about some concerns that you might have heard. So um, these are about privately owned boat slips uh, and the option of, of those owners being able to install lifts you know, on their slips that they own in marinas. This, is, this isn't about the town docks. Thank you so much. That's a great point of clarification. And I wanted to thank um, you, Hal, for uh, pulling those photos together and you, Nicole, as well. Very, very helpful. It's uh, an impactful visual uh, when you see it uh, like that. So thank you so much. Um, so we can have a discussion like this now, or we can make a motion and have a discussion. It's whatever your pleasure. Would you like to continue the discussion and then make a motion? I, I Melissa, I want to clarify <coughs> that if this is a, if we remove this zoning text, that there, the, the area affected would only be the marina at Marsh's Light. No, that is that is not. So the so it could in it our, the view along the entire boardwalk could in essence be filled with boat. I mean, could possibly at some point have boat lifts all over it. This prohibition if allow, is. If we remove this. That could allow boat lifts to be. It could. It, if everybody okay. wanted to put one in. All right. So how many slips are there, Melissa? Is it 188? They're, they're allowed to have, by their conditional use permit, 188. But that is not Apparently how many. It's not, it's not that many. Oh, it's so obvious when you walk past there. I mean, it, it, they're not all defined. OK. Anybody else have any discussion? I mean, this is yeah, a one, great topic. One thing I'd like to add, I've been involved in the design and layout of several marinas in Virginia and North Carolina. and 
most of them absolutely do not want boat slips just because of the fact that everybody would want one because it eliminates the need to have your boat hauled and get the bottom cleaned and painted, which is an expense you have to go through just about every year. And, uh, you know, they just don't want that. It, it's kind of unsightly if everybody's got a boat lift. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one marina that I did do some work for, they had a lot of demand for it. But what they did, they had seven uh, docks and they put it on the very sure. farthest out dock away from the restaurant and everything else so that it really didn't affect the view. Yeah, that's a solution. Thank you so much. Um, is there anyone else um, who wishes to um, contribute to this conversation? Uh, Madam Chairman, I would. Oh, this is Jamie Daniels. Can you hear me okay now? Yes, I think so. I found a quiet spot for the time being. Um, yeah, so uh, two, two parts. First of all, yeah, I'm not in favor of changing the ordinance. And would you like an ordinance to say we would like to recommend that they do not change the ordinance, I could go ahead and make that motion right now and then explain afterwards if you would be inclined. If you, uh, you can make whatever motion and then if you get a seconder, we will go with it. Okay, well, also, uh, I think that there, Jamie, excuse me, I think that there's um, time for more discussion. If but then I'll go ahead and explain then first. Okay. So I think it kind of comes down to property rights. Private individuals own the slips and some of them would like to have boat lifts. But the situation is all of the docks, all the boardwalks around there are public property. They're belonging to me and you and everybody else. And uh, so, and what's the good of a boardwalk? It's to walk it and, and the view. So when you put the boat slips out, you, you, uh, you, know, you take that away from, from all of us. So I, I think it comes down to individual owners or, or, or the whole, and so I would support keeping it open for for uh, for everyone. That's why I'm not in favor of changing the ordinance. What does that noise? It's a little bit of feedback. Oh, the the speakers are pointed this way, so you can't hear it. Oh, yeah. I, I can hear. I heard a little bit. Did you? Were you yes. able to? Yes. Okay. How about Fields? How about you? Were you able to hear enough of that? I can hear bits and pieces. Okay. All right. All right, Jamie. Um, it, was there anything else that you wanted to add to that? I'm no, so I lost you for a second there. Did you hear me? Yes, that's better. Okay, did you, did you I, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you got all that or not, but I was, like I say, not in favor. Do I need to repeat that or did you get everything? I can hear you perfectly yeah, clearly. He's not in favor. Uh, of changing the of, changing of, of the of the ordinance, yeah, not, one of not the in favor of being that the walkways are community property, and even though the slips are individually owned. Yeah, thank you, Jamie, and thank you, Hal, for some of that up for me. That's that's my point. Okay, um, Fields, do you have? I have something I'd like to say as well, but um, I would love to hear from you. I'm in favor of it. You're in favor of the change. Okay, so you'll wait for the the motion. You don't have any. Anything else to say? Okay. All right. Um, so um, when Melissa teed this up um, in terms of her staff report about looking at documents that inform us, uh, I think that that was a very good summation. There was one more I would like to mention, however, um, because I think that also was a document that um, that shows that there could be impact on the community. And that is the conditional use permit uh, for Marsh's Light, which was a document um, that was written December 2005. And while the conditional use permit for Marsh's Light doesn't mention boat lifts specifically, it does mention the boardwalk at Marsh's Light um, being a public easement. And in fact, um, the exact wording is, there shall be deeded to the town of Manio an easement 30 feet wide along the water's edge dedicated as a public park in perpetuity. So this public park that everybody gets to enjoy um, with this beautiful water view 
um, when you combine that with the land use plan, talking about um, preserving the views to public trust water, and then also that we have this um, ordinance, this local law that's been in place for 12 years. When you look at all three of those guiding, well, one law and uh, guiding documents, um, I would say that there would be a negative impact on the community in terms of the view shed and what you would be able to enjoy. And I think once a decision is made, what if the decision is made to change that ordinance, um, I think it could really have a negative impact into the future. Um, and might not be able to ever be changed again. So this is a really, really big decision uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so um, my recommendation too is not to change the wording um, in the zoning ordinance, um, but we need to have a motion um, on the floor. We've had this discussion, we can have more discussion, but a motion should be made. I'll make the motion to not change the ordinance. I'll second that. Okay, we'll take a roll call vote. Um, we'll start with Nicole Northrup. Aye or nay? Aye. Aye. Hal Goodman. Aye. Fields Scarborough. I need to hear what was just said about which I'm voting for. So what are, I, I couldn't hear what Jamie said. Oh, uh, his motion was to not change the ordinance. ordinance. Not change it. Not change it. Uh, I'm in disagreement of that. Okay, so that's a nay. nay. Field Scarborough, nay. Um, Jamie Daniels? Of course, aye. Is an aye, and Sherry Wickstrom is an aye. So um, the motion um, passes, and the motion is that we recommend to the Board of Commissioners that we not change the wording um, of the ordinance um, 12.7. Okay, thank you so much for the discussion and, and all of your perspectives, very important. All right, um, so. Madam Chair, may I? Oh, yes. Um, so um, in accordance with state law, you all are required to also um, adopt a consistency statement. And okay. there is one drafted for you and this would be um, a scenario A, um, to deny the text amendment. And so we would need a motion um, of someone reading after um, number one consistency statement where it begins the town. Okay. I'll move that we adopt the following consistency statement. The town of Manio Planning and Zoning Board finds the action to amend the zoning ordinance to allow boat lifts in marinas to be inconsistent with the town's 2007 land use plan. The town's 2007 land use plan does not specifically mention boat lifts, but public access policy three states, quote, new parks and open spaces should be cited and designed to maintain the town's natural edge protect fragile areas, improve water quality, preserve views to public trust waters, and be in keeping with Manio's historic character. We Unquote. have a motion, oh, I'm sorry. We have a motion and we need a seconder. I'll second that. So we have a motion from Hal Goodman. We have a second from Nicole uh, Northrup and we will take a vote. Um, so, uh, Nicole, Nicole Northrup. Aye. Hal Goodman. Aye. Field Scarborough. Aye. And Jamie Daniels. Jamie Daniels. Aye. And Sherry Wickstrom. Aye. So that, um, that passes. So we have a consent, uh, consistency, consistency statement that we have um, passed. He said, Fields said I. Did you not, Fields? I mean, this is what y'all have decided. Yes, I'm, I mean, I'm against it, but I, I'm certainly, I'm certainly not going okay? to sing the boat. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
So, very well. So that will go on to the Board of Commissioners and then they will have their public hearing and they will have their discussion and they will make the determination uh, in the end uh, what is appropriate for them. All right, now we have um, business number eight and that is board members' comments. So can we start with Nicole? Yes, I would um, like to make a comment that I am extremely sympathetic to those who called in. I am really, first of all, thankful to hear from those citizens. And if there was another way to change this so that I could see these be allowed only in Marsh's light, I would not be out of favor with that. However, I think to to change as, as it was stated is just too wide of a precedent. I don't feel comfortable with changing the zoning text amendment. Um, so I just wanted to let you all know that. Thank you for your comments. Very much appreciated. And Hal, do you have anything more to say? Uh, yes, one of the things I know, one of the people that was commenting from Marsh's Light during the public hearing stated that, you know, the rough conditions in there make it difficult. And I know that in some of their future planning, they have talked about extending the breakwater across there to help dissipate a lot of that wave action, which would eliminate some of that. And okay. it's a lot more attractive than the boat lifts would be. Excellent point. Uh, Field Scarborough? Nothing. No comments, okay. Jamie Daniels, do you have any comments, any further comments to make? Uh, no, ma'am, thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, I guess we need a motion to adjourn. I'll move that we adjourn. We need a seconder. I'll second. And we do need a vote. Nicole, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Aye. <laughs> Hal. Aye. Fields. Aye. And Jamie? Aye. Okay, and I myself. All right, we are adjourned. Thank you all for such hard work on that.